Okay, let's look at some some examples. Okay, first one's first. We've already learned in our previous video that the decimal slot would simply, if I have a positive exponent, would move to the right. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can add a whole bunch of zeros. So my final answer will be 4,000. What about the next one? Currently, my decimals here, I need to move to the left, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can say 3.12 multiply 10 to the power of 4. So now we get to addition. Well, let me ask you an example first. If I say 3x plus 2x, since the, they are the same unit of measurement, or the same variable in this case, we have a final answer of 5x. Now the same thing happens here. The same thing. Since they are the same scientific figure, I can simply just add them together. So look, this is to the power 4 to the power 4. So I can then rewrite this as 3.2 plus 1.3. And we can multiply this to 10 to the power 4. It's the exact same thing. Okay, if I do this, I get... 4.5 times 10 to the power 4. You can, you can sort of think about it when you have, let's expand this answer, so this answer would then be, um, we add three zeros, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So you just simply add, uh, wait a minute, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, excuse me, 45,000. Okay. So in this case, now you can think about it this way. If I say 32,000 plus 13,000, I then simply get 45,000, right? So there's the proof. This is the mathematical proof. What about the next one? Well, on the next one, we can see here we have to the power of 4 and here we have to the power of 3. So what can I do now? Well, now the idea is to convert this one. Convert the first one so you can add them together. What does this mean? If I move one decimal to the right, I can say 3 times 10 to the power of 3. I can add this to 4 times 10, 4.2 times 10 to the power of 3. Now all of a sudden, they are the same unit of measurement. Okay, to the power of 3, to the power of 3. Now we can simply rewrite this as... 4 plus 4.2, 3 plus 4.2, multiply 10 to the power of 3. If that's the case, well, I have 7.2, multiply 10 to the power of 3. And usually it's fine to leave your answer this way, unless, unless the instruction is rewrite it in the standard form. Okay, if they say rewrite it in the standard form, what you have to do is then just multiply this. So the decimal move 1, 2, 3. So add your two zeros. So that gives me 7,200. So this would be in the standard form. Okay, let's look at multiplication. So with multiplication, I can regroup. Okay, I can group these values. So to group them, I can group the 3 times the 2, multiply the 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 4. This little dot just means multiply, okay? A dot means multiply. Parentheses also means multiply. So in this case, I have 6 times, I solved, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times, when I add, expo or when I multiply exponents, they simply add, so it's going to be 10 to the power of 6. Very important to note, note down that in multiplication, the order of multiplication does not matter okay it does not matter it does not matter how we multiply what does that mean that means 2 times 2 times 4 that gives me 4 times 4 is 16 but i can also say 4 times 2 times 2 that also gives me 16 i can even say 2 times 4 times 2 it also gives me 16 so here's the proof for my statement that i made that the order of multiplication does not matter. So we can rearrange however we want. Only when it comes to multiplication and division. <laughs> so in this case, um, I can simply neglect this one. Since um, 
anything multiply one is one. So I can then say 3.2 anyway, times one. And then we have 10 to the power of four multiply 10 to the power of negative four. So what happens now? Hmm. Well, in this case, I can say 3.2 and that's my final answer. Why is that? Let's look in theory what happens. In theory, I have four minus four. That gives me 10 to the power of zero. And remember of our exponential rule videos that anything to the power of zero is one. So my final answer would therefore be 3.2. What about the next one? Well, in this case, I can rewrite for, for 10 to the power of negative four. Based on my exponential video, again, I know if I have a negative exponent, I need to move it from the numerator to the denominator to make a positive. So let's rewrite this. It's going to be eight times 10 to the power of two times 10 to the power of four. This gives me, I can simplify four and eight. It gives me one over two times 10 to the power. Remember when we multiply exponents, they add 10 to the power of six. So this would be my final answer. Okay, let's do the last one. So in the last one, we can rearrange. We can say 21, I oh, sorry, seven times three times 10 to the power of four times 10 to the power of five. Now, yeah, I get 21 and we have 10 to the power of nine. So I can now rewrite this 21. I can rewrite 21 as 2.1 multiply 10 to the power of one. And I can multiply this with 10 to the power of nine. So if this is the case, I need to say one plus nine. So this gives me 2.1 multiply 10 to the power of 10. And this would be my final answer. Okay, there was some examples of scientific notation. This might be as, uh, it might get a little bit more complicated than this, but if you know your exponential rules, how we can rewrite uh, certain radicals, it becomes fairly easy. Okay, good luck.